There are some days when you feel like doing something very quick and easy. This recipe is for those days, but don't think it won't be delicious. I make this over and over again, and you will be doing that too. Hey everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. Pan on medium heat, oil goes in. Once the oil turns hot, add nigella seeds that is kalonji. I love the nutty flavor of nigella seeds. But if you don't have it then you can even use cumin seeds that is jeera. Potatoes enter the pan. Fry them on medium high heat for a few minutes. Add salt. Then cover on medium low heat till the potatoes turn tender. From time to time uncover, give a stir and cover again. As you can see my potatoes have got this beautiful brown color and even got tender. At this point the bell pepper beauties dive into the pan. I again sprinkled a little more salt to season the bell peppers. Though I have used red and green bell peppers you can use any one type. Fry everything on a fairly high heat because you don't want the bell peppers to release moisture and make everything soggy. So let the party go on at a high heat. Next I used some kasuri methi that is dried fenugreek leaves. Always crush them before adding to release their flavor. Now you must be thinking, well Bumbi I don't have kasuri methi and I'm not buying kasuri methi only for this recipe. Well don't have to add it. You can even add dried thyme or rosemary or Italian seasoning. As I always say, a recipe is just a guide and I am here just to give you ideas. At the end, I love adding some freshly crushed black pepper and as usual, I didn't realize that my camera was all zoomed out. Sometimes I wish I had four eyes, although that will look a bit scary. <laughs> okay, finally, I love adding a squeeze of lemon juice, but that's totally optional. You can have this for breakfast with a toasted bread or as a side with rice or roti. It even stays good in the refrigerator for two days. Bye bye.